All right, future Melissa here. So thank you for coming to this video. So I didn't do a intro the day of, so I'm doing it here in the future for you. <laughs> so this is um, not considered a sea day, but it was sort of like that. So this was supposed to be Dawes Glacier Day, um, but we couldn't go to Dawes, and I don't know the exact reason why. So we ended up going to Sawyer Glacier. Um, I didn't show a lot of the glacier itself because I don't have a zoom on this camera. So that's something you know I'm looking into for the future is getting a camera with a zoom for you guys. But um, I showed you a lot of the activities because there was tons going on the ship that day. We had some Alaska trivia. We have the freezing the night away deck show, um, dinner. So it's ended up being kind of a long video. So thank you for coming in today. So hope you enjoy. Alaska trivia. What is Alaska's state nickname? What is Alaska's state nickname? How's it going? I like it. Yeah, you want to try to get Competition. Alright, folks, that means we're approximately halfway through the trivia. Anyone think they're super confident and gonna win? No. No. Anyone think maybe if they know a few more answers, they may be okay? No. Just no. No. Anyone think this is the worst trivia they've ever done? Crystal, what are you saying? No, we're learning. Thanks for your honesty. Okay. No. We laugh. It happens every time I've done this trivia. Okay, number 13. What day did Alaska become a state? Like they I have the day of the week and I also have like the date and the month. What? So if you want a 360, how many days in a year they are chat? You can oh, do I'm that. If you want a one in seven no. chat, write a day. Thursday. What day did Alaska become a state? Okay, when you way more boring. One in seven is better odds. Oh, right. can you hand me that pen? Well, here. Well, we did not too bad at Alaska Trivia. We got 10 points. <laughs> Um, the person that won got 20. But I'm pretty proud of our 10. Yeah. There's one, like, I, dang, I should have known that. The state flower. I should have known that. But a couple I did get because of Lake Life. So thank you, Lake Life. So we're in line now. Okay, I should go see Mickey Mouse and his... I don't know which one. Is this Mickey? No, not me. Okay. Mickey Mouse in his... Sorry, you know, sailor outfit, I guess. Gordon's fisherman well, outfit. Fisherman, yeah. Fisherman outfit. Yeah. Take that. Going. I'm loving the French fries here. I'll get you them a tip. Yeah. Get the fresh fries. They're delicious. <laughs> they yeah. like gods. <laughs> and you know, we're in line, so we might as well just have some French fries while we wait. So. And the hot chocolate is actually really good. Um, it looks like a gas station hot chocolate, but it's really good. No. I don't know why, but it is. Alright, so I can see the top of Mickey's head, so hopefully we'll be up there soon. <laughs> Smaller than it was before, but... But still, he's just a blue. Over there's the line for Minnie already. Breaking off at Mendenhall Lake. 
And even in the winter, that ice is still moving. seven years and 30 seconds. Now we'll reverse it. So the glacier's gotten shorter, it's gotten skinnier, it's gotten thinner in that seven years. Wow. So one of the neat things about glaciers is they bring nutrients and, and minerals from the land down to the sea and it's washed out to sea and those nutrients and minerals are important building blocks for uh, Plankton for uh, zooplankton and uh, and uh, uh, other other plankton, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the plant plankton, uh, and of course those are great feed for small fish, and the small fish are feed for larger fish, and the larger fish are fed on by seals and sea lions and whales, so this is a, a feeding area for for uh, all of these, uh, all these different animals. Humpback whales, we should see some, I'm hoping tomorrow morning uh, when we hit uh, uh, Frederick Sound that we'll be seeing whales and sea lions and seals and, uh, and uh, dolls porpoises. Uh, this is a way we're going to see whales from the ship, mostly by spouts. But this was a pair of uh, uh, whales, a cow and a, a cow and a cat. Is that banana? Yep. First banana. Oh, it's first ice cream at all, actually. We are out on deck ten behind Paolo. Supposed to be some pictures out here here in about seven minutes. Wanted to show you the beautiful view. We are technically in Alaska now. Alaska time zone too, so we went back another hour. It is windy up here. I'm a little nervous that my cute ears might fly away. So we're going to head back in and kind of hang for a second. See if we find the photo people. It's not raining right now, but the decks are wet. Hello everybody. Well, I feel like I haven't shown you a whole lot today. Um, just kind of a check-in. So, you know, we saw the glacier, really cool. Um, seeing a lot of these, you know, icebergs that fall into the water. Um, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous sound. I can't talk anymore. Gorgeous scenery. Um, sounds. It, it's been beautiful. We took a lot of pictures with characters in their Alaska outfits. So, Mickey and Minnie looking like that. We um, had pictures with Goofy. I did one with Pluto by myself. We didn't do um, Daisy and Donald. The weather has also been a little eh. Um, it has been raining. Not every once in a while it will come down real hard, but it's mostly been a mist. Um, so some of my pictures have been kind of hard because of that too. But yeah, just gorgeous. I can't believe some of these views and sights. Gorgeous. Sorry, there's a little bit of a reflection on the glass there of the TV, but. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, this is cool. But don't you worry. 
Where'd you find that one? Where'd you find that one? Yeah. 
Okay, everybody. Now, this is a very tricky one. Mm -hmm. So what we are going to do is I'm going to give you all a number that you need to remember. Okay. Do you think you can do that? No. What? what? What do you mean, sir? You can do this. I believe in you. I am NATO champion. Ready? One. Two. One. Two. What is that? One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Now all of the balls give me a...
respond to ice. Well, we've heard you like ice just as much as that snowman likes summer. <laughs> ice is my life. Hmm. Well, speaking of things right, where's Anna? Huh. Well, I thought she would be right behind me. Anyone... I wonder what she could be. Can anyone see Anna? All right, on the count of three, I need you to all shout. Anna, where are you? Ready? One, two, three. Ah!
day of my life, and quite possibly the last. Appetizer, so like a charcuterie. I got the midnight kind of meh. And the kids got the ice palace. What's this? Very pineapple y, so pineapple So I'm trying Sven's carrot soup. Rowan got the split pea and ham soup. What do you think? It's just good. Good? Let's try mine. I was intrigued by the idea of a carrot soup. Let's see. Can't really decide. Hmm. I'll just come back to you. 
carrot soup didn't have much of a flavor. Wouldn't I really. didn't try it. <laughs> wouldn't really recommend that. Uh, Rowan has quite a bit of flavor, but I don't like peas. But he likes it. So. There you go. All of it. <laughs> well, you probably won't. I got the roasted chicken. Looks very good. Potatoes and looks like some carrots, which I won't eat those, but lobster ravioli. And Ashton got the marinated sirloin. I can't, um, uh, yeah. Let's have him take a first bite. Good? <laughs> Too many french fries? More french fries for a lifetime. John just keeps giving him more and more french fries. All right, so I got the warm apple bread pudding and the Norwegian little pancake things. Right, I guess it's the kids Mickey premium bars. I feel like that. We have a riddle that we're trying to figure out. This is a wine glass. You can't move the butter. Not in the answer. All right, so just got done at Disney Toon Trivia. Did not win once again. <laughs> kind of feels like I'm not going to win a trivia on this um, cruise, but we'll see. Um, and I also need to watch High School Musical because I don't know anything about High School Musical. And evidently I need to rewatch Coco because I've been terrible at any of the Coco questions. So, there's that. Um, but here is our animal for the night. Mm, looks kind of like a bear to me. I don't know if that's true though. Can we give us four chocolates tonight? Um, so today was a pretty good day. Um, didn't mention this morning that we could hear the pounding again last night. Um, it started, I think, around like 1130. Most of the day we did not hear it. I kind of wonder if we're going to hear it tonight at all because the water's a lot calmer tonight. So I'm really hoping that we won't hear it. Um, but we'll see. I mean, this one was not as bad as the first night. The first night was very bad. Um, so I don't know if I was just really exhausted and slept through it better than I did the first night, or if it was just really better. I'm trying to be quiet for a second, see if I hear it. I just heard one click of it. Yeah, I would say if you're going to the Disney Wonder, do not book the second deck. Um... I don't think all of the second deck has this problem, but I know my room does and 2626 also has it. There is a website that there's reviews of the individual staterooms on the Disney ships. Definitely check it out. I'm gonna be writing a review about this room because it's terrible. <laughs> um, I like how close it is to the elevator. That part's nice. Um, my stateroom host is really nice, but that noise is terrible and they are not really caring about doing anything about it. So, I don't know. Um, so just be aware of that. The Frozen show was good. The Frozen menu was kind of meh. I, I did like my chicken quite a bit. Um, the desserts, not so much. The appetizer, the like Shakuri board one isn't bad. Um, but it's not like gonna blow you away. Rowan didn't really like his ravioli lobster. So the menu tonight was not the greatest, but that's okay. All right, I think that's about it to end out our second full day at sea. Well, that's Glacier. Tomorrow we have an excursion, so that's gonna be exciting. So we'll see you tomorrow. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will insert the resource for today's video. So if you don't wanna know about the resource, you can leave now. Can I say something first? Oh, Rowan wants to say something. Symbol. Uh, <clears throat> I want you guys to do something. Say hashtag yo yo. <laughs> Comment hashtag yo yo. Yo yo. All right. Sounds good.
with the yo's. <laughs> Good night. All right, there we go. So it's for households with no or low income, um, gross income for Michigan is 130% of the federal poverty level. So that might be a little bit different based on your geographic area. So you should be able to find that information online or by dialing 211. And then um, there are going to look at assets, family income and expenses. So they kind of take your your income and then they do deductions. So if you pay rent, they take a deduction off of, you know, your income to bring down your income level. If you pay like for a trash bill, electric bill, you know, they do a standard deduction that brings your income size down to help you with food stamps. And then when you apply for food stamps, you can also apply for other benefits that you may need, um, like cash assistance or Medicaid, um, state emergency relief form if you have a shut off notice for your electric, um, or like if you have an eviction notice for your rent, delinquent property taxes. Um, so you can all do that all at the same time if you need those other assistance as well. All right. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, ring that notification bell, and like to help get us out there. Thank you. Bye -bye.